Welcome back, everybody. It's time for another daily Nipa. Rika Furude Simulator 24. Nipa! If you would like to join in and find your Rika number, the link's up here. Socks make people sexy.itch.io. Lots of fun games, including this one. We have three Nipatsis. We almost had a four Nipatsi twice yesterday. We even did an extra 100 fates because we were in it. But today, I guess we'll see. <laughs> there we go. All right, we start off with two sixes, two fives, and two ones. What is that, Omen? I don't know, Omen. Let's go, Omen. Go, Omen. Okay, we've had... Two sets of three doubles. And they were all different. Six, six, five, five, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Very weird way to start it out today, Rika. I like it. Getting all the dice paired up early. Almost did it again. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I got to talk to my psych this morning. She is genuinely one of the biggest lights in my life. She's so good. She's so fucking thoughtful. Um, she never like brushes. There's another goddamn straight. I. <clears throat> It's not just her doing her job, it's the questions and thoughts that she comes back with me after she listens to me. Which means I know she actually fucking cares while she's doing her job. Um, and that's, that's, that's incredibly helpful. Unfortunately, my uh, therapist had moved to another uh, company, and my um, my uh, my insurance didn't cover it anymore, so I couldn't couldn't uh, continue with her. And it's been God, I it's been a long time now. I miss her a lot. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Um, but yeah, the, the, I had a nice convo with the psych this morning, and it's it's just nice. It didn't necessarily leave me feeling all that better, but it was very thoughtful, and. I can pretty much schedule if I wanted to, you know, have a chit chat with her or something. She opened that in her schedule and stuff, and that was really nice. Um, but I have been struggling a lot lately, unfortunately, and it's it's really hard to set your brain straight when it goes off the rails. Um, I guess we're going here today. Um, so when my brain has uh has troubles which it does a lot it can get too emotional to the point that i will exert so much emotion in a short period of time that will become very flat and emotionless which is how i was feeling this morning um and when I have these surges of the mental roller coasters, getting them to calm down is really hard. Because once they happen, I don't really have control anymore. Hey, Max. And, um... The dice rolling, why does she keep exploding? 
All right, let's explain this real quick. So, uh, this is Rika Furude. This is Rika Furude Simulator. Um, and in the anime that Rika's in, uh, a tragedy that repeats itself finally over and over. One girl's resolve slowly deteriorates as she travels to fragments, looking for one world where she can finally break free and find her future. She can't get out of June of 1983, so... As a bit of a joke, <laughs> Polly made this game called Rika Furude Simulator 24. Why is that S red? I need to ask her about that. Um... And, and the whole idea is, is that you have to roll six sixes to give her the one fate that she can live in. And that's what we're trying to do here. Um, hey, Bo. Kaliak. Good to see you all. Um, but we've done this 7,329 times now. And rolling strong. I believe this is Daily Nipa number 27. So we almost have a whole month of daily Nipas under our belts now. Um, but as you see down here, we've been keeping other Nipatsis, which is six of a kind. We have ones, twos, and fives. And our best roll ever was si a five sixes and a five, which happened not that long ago. Um, so she got the second best miracle, which still kept her into an exploding form here. But, uh... <clears throat> but we're trying we're trying and i started playing this on uh september 19th sorry i had a cough there and uh and um we are trying to uh to hit those six sixes for Rika here. And, uh, yeah, I played it on the 19th, and I kind of got hooked on it. It was fun. Fun, chill thing to do while chit-chatting with chat. And we joked about it being a daily thing, and it just kind of became a daily thing. <laughs> um, but it's honestly just a lot of fun to just leave on and kind of wake my brain up in the morning and chit chat with people as they're coming in for the daily nipa and leaving after the daily nipa's over uh, which is clearly understandable it is the main event after all but jokes aside it is a nice way to uh to, to, you know, to wake up in the morning uh we get to see the miracle i've seen a picture of it crick kraken did it in 2160 attempts which is insane, because the odds of this is like 1 in 48,000, essentially. Oh, oh, would I stop playing? Um, I've thought about it. I've also thought about the fact that I can just re-download the game again and start a fresh file. And we can see if we can win uh, Fastest Miracle. You know me, I'm an RNG gambler sometimes. Um, I was thinking about that. Like, I was thinking about pulling up and just downloading it again and seeing if we can get a, uh, a quicker miracle or an even longer miracle or just getting it again to see if we can get one of each Nipazi. I mean, we got half of them. So it's been a, it's been a pretty good... I think it's easier than reinstalling it. No, I actually don't think it is. Uh, you don't need to install this. <laughs> um, it, it just comes in as a game that you download and it, you just click and play it. Um, but the other reason I say that is because Polly specifically, I believe, hides the save file on your computer somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I don't know where that is. Um, uh, and honestly, I think it's it's funnier that way. <laughs> Plus, I want to get this game downloaded at least 1,000 times this year. At least. I want everybody to find their Rika Furude 
simulator 24 number it's it's too good of a game it's too fun of a time we all get to come around roll some dice and watch somebody explode into a, a giant uh blood splatter like what is there not to like this is basically family entertainment in 2024 I believe so, yes, because it would probably start a new config file on the new game. But I could be wrong. <laughs> 555444. That's a cool roll. Could have been all fours or all fives. Could have got another Nipotsi, though, Rika. <laughs> Okay, there's another straight. We've had us. If I was keeping a straight counter, it'd be like 300 compared to this, the one Nipotsi. Uh, the three Nipotsi we got. <coughs> and no, I haven't downloaded it more than once to inflate the download numbers. I have only downloaded this once and I've played it and I will continue playing this masterpiece of a fucking game until we uh, hit that miracle. I mean, look at Rika. She's so happy because she's spawned again, and then she realizes once she's done saying Nipa that she's just going to explode again. Or until we die. That's fair. That's fair. <sighs> mouse nose for Rika. You get a little mouse nose again. It always looks like... Why do you give me a mouse nose? She has that look on her face. And probably from the exploding over and over again. Mob? Don't you fucking dare. I know why you did that. No. Bad mob. Now we need to beat these thoughts. <laughs> Somebody give Mob a hug and, like, a sandwich. Oh, I know. Kong. I'm going to get the Kong delivery service. And I'm going to have him deliver you a sandwich and a hug. do <laughs> That's the kind of business I'd be in. I'll make you a sandwich, then I'll give you a hug. Straight flushes, yeah. For sure. <laughs> How you been, Bo? It's been a little bit. Hope you've been doing well. <laughs> Are we at right now? Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, we're almost done. No, we're not. We only had, uh, we had 300 fates yesterday. We usually do 200 fates a day, but if I'm talking and rolling a lot, I'll forget and we'll just continue. <laughs> um. Oh, do, do. And that's fine. That's just that's a that's a sign of, of perfection, really. <laughs> Stay away from the 40k lore. I'll thank Barry as much for a hugging after the last three games. <laughs> that's fair, Bo. That's fair. <laughs> I do, like, besides the lore factor, like, a lot of what makes this mod fun is just how much variation is in it. There's so many different factions and stuff to play as, and, and like, that's why I really enjoy it, I think. It's just, there's so much fun stuff to it. I, I do like the 40k lore. It definitely got me back into, like, I, I grew up adjacent to 40k lore. Like, I, I'd go to card shops to play Magic the Gathering. I played Blood Bowl, which is 40k lore. 
Um, I watched uh, all the cool uh, 40k like huge table setups they always had, which was always really cool looking. All their painted figures looked awesome. I don't need yet another. No, that's fine. That's fine. I don't. I don't think I have any uh, wants to to go into 40k specifically, but I really do like this XCOM mod um, a lot. And I like the 40k universe. I think there's some fun stuff in it. It's just, it's a lot. Like, there's a lot. Um, but you don't really need to know most of it uh, to play the XCOM version, though. <laughs> the, the basic runt of it is, is where are the guards right now? They're the, uh, the weakest of the peeps in this universe and the most... And there's a billion of them, so losing them isn't as bad, and you get a lot of them in battle. And they get fun tanks and fun lasers to shoot. Oh, all the laser effects actually got so good lately, too. The Laz effects in Rosigma now are so satisfying. It's got a nice crispy laser crunch to it now. Oh, it's so nice. And also, like, the constant working on this, working on the mod aspect of it is huge, too. Like, it's cool that, of how much work that still goes into the mod. They had a huge update, like, two days ago or something that they keep just doing an update. It's too intense. Oh, wait, you talking about Rika Furude, or you talking about... <laughs> Real Sigma. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you can't turn off the music. <laughs> it is true. And honestly, I know they've wanted to add a lot more music to the game, but... You know, copyright's a big issue when it comes to these kind of things. Um, and uh, some of them uh, do get pretty old after a while. Um, but I, I realize how much I'm very alone in the fact that I kind of like just letting game music go on in the background. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I can probably turn the music down a little bit. Sometimes I feel like it's loud. Sometimes it's, I feel like it's just too quiet. Like, it's hard to find a happy medium because some of the sound effects are really loud. <laughs> I get that. I do. I've thought about trying to find other sources of music to put on in the background, but, like... What do you put on in the background when you stream six hours every day? Like, what are you going to keep mixing up in the background? I guess it'd be every other day now, but... I feel like I'd be putting... I don't think there's enough free music on, like, YouTube to just keep throwing in the background that would be fitting in a Warhammer setting. Or an XCOM setting. I mean, I guess I could just do the, uh... <laughs> the other XCOM playlists and just add that music in there too. I would say XCOM files, but some of that is very copyright. Um, the thing mission just completely destroys any videos that I, I try to put up. Uh, I think Fallout music sometimes gets flagged. Yeah. <laughs> um... But I, that is one of the things I can I can definitely say, and this is nothing to do with the modders of the game. That's just copyright, and like 40k music is heavy to begin with. It's very orchestral, and much like its universe, it's it's a lot, you know. And that's kind of the point of the universe: is everything is a lot, and that's what makes it fun. But it can also make it bad in some ways too. I get that. 
<laughs> Random old RPGs too, yeah. <clears throat> mm hmm Like old Warhammer RPGs and stuff like that. But yeah, if I had like 500 hours of neutral music that I could throw on in the background at like a low volume, that would work. Oh, oh yeah, because uh, there's some really... Oh, yeah, what's that one? The one I always really like to listen to. It's from... Uh, people bring it up in chat, and I've never played the actual game. <laughs> You can loop. It's just... Well, I guess you're not really listening to the background music too much. But I, I just wanted to have, like, enough variance in the background that it's just not noise. I think one of the best things is the atmospheric feeling you get going into some missions when that music kicks in. <clears throat> Maybe I should just be more specific on which music I click in-game, but... Um, atmosphere is something I really enjoy when playing games, and I like to set that atmosphere up to, uh, so if you can find, like, I mean, we can try it today. I don't mind. Like, I have nothing, no, like, real attachment to the music, so I've been playing this game for almost a year. I don't mind mixing things up for a little bit, Just try to see if it'll work out a little better. Because some of the tracks I've noticed lately <clears throat> are kind of crispy. And again, this is nothing to the botters. Um, there's like some crackle in them. Um, which, again, that's more of like a little bit of a thing I noticed just out of hearing it for about 600 hours. I don't think I really noticed it until... Because I'm usually just super focused on the game because XCOM has 6,000 different things you have to pay attention to. <clears throat> but, uh... But yeah, I get it. I get the music can be a bit crunchy. If you have, like... I don't know, like a 10-hour RPG kind of... A uh, free music thing I can throw up in the background and just have it going the whole time, that's fun. That honestly makes it easier. That way I don't have to worry about copyright issues for certain missions. Like, for instance, the final mission always gives me a gigantic copyright strike. <clears throat> Though it has some of the best music in the whole game. <laughs> Unfortunately. It do be doing that sometimes. Where are we at now? Oh, yeah. 100 plus fates, just like that. Um, yeah, I don't mind switching it up. I even tried it before. Because I got tired of the XCOM files having the... Uh, thing go for it, the, the copyright strikes. It was XCOM files. It was, it was in one of the main like overworld themes that the game had and so i had to just remove that track completely yeah the zombie mission Zombie Mission was another one, <clears throat> but I think I got a cover of that one that worked. I also got a cover of the Thing soundtrack, but that didn't work. Yeah, the, <laughs> that one did not work. Um, afterwards, they were like, uh, hey, you know, copyright. <laughs> do the Thing. You gotta do the Thing. Mm -mm 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 Yeah, I don't mind giving that a try. I'm gonna try to take a look at it once we're done uh, with Rika here. Rika, we could definitely use a good roll here. That's not that's not a good roll, Rika. That's not, 
is not a good roll. <laughs> I'm just gonna play this in the background the whole time. <laughs> I'm sure that won't get old. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind the song. It kind of is, is fun to listen to as we're doing this. And again, I'm I'm weird about music stuffs. I can listen to like when I'm speed running. I almost I I definitely prefer listening to the soundtrack over and over again. Uh, because one, a lot of great games have, or a lot of games have great music, and uh, and two, when it comes to speed running, sometimes I use audio cues, but most of the time it's just to listen to the music. That's so, uh, like White Hat never listens to audio cues. I don't think because he always has some sweet jams going in his ear. It's impressive. <laughs> I, I needed the music. I need the sound. Helps me focus. <laughs> um. Rika. Two, 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 three, three, three. <clears throat> and again, if, if I, I know, I think I know enough about this mod in 40k lore to answer any questions at this point. And I don't think anybody has to do any searching. If you're curious about something, I'd be happy to answer. Plus, there's a lot of Woody Warhammer heads in the audience that would be happy to help out, of course. They've helped me out. I've certainly learned a ton. Uh, I I did look into a few things. There's some really cool uh, like YouTube videos about it where you can kind of just listen to lore. I, kind of, I like that. Um... I always find that really interesting uh, when you're getting into something the lore is like that. I, I didn't go too far into it, but I did find it interesting. Is there an online UFOpedia for the mod? I think there's something? I don't remember. Um. Okay, thank you, Max. Yeah. Um. I... I, I, I remember there being something but i wasn't sure how like complete it was and i wasn't sure exactly what or where but it's been a little while <laughs> i my brain's been really out of it lately so i haven't really gotten into hanging in many discords or saying too much um so i've kind of my brain kind of like loses information that way but thank you max um but yeah, like, it's, it's, I would even say it's less about Warhammer and just more about learning the different unit types. And it kind of just helps you learn Warhammer in the process. General Resigrophy. Oh, thank you, Max. I appreciate that. I, I want to just click on this. I want to see this. Hold on. Where are we at here? Oh, no. We only have 16 fates left. Oh, yeah, okay, this is awesome. <clears throat> Yo, this is... Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, scrolling the sidebar, it makes the... It's definitely intimidating about how much is in this game. <clears throat> Sometimes I forget how much is in this game because I've played it so much. Yeah. But it's different. Instead of like one single playthrough, it's broken up into several smaller playthroughs of different factions. That's like the biggest difference between this and XCOM files is like... This has probably as much shit in it as XCOM files does, but it's just dispersed differently. There's the Eldar, there's the Guards, there's Chaos, Zinch, Nurgle, Korn, um, uh, there's Gene Stealers, 
uh, with their various things. Uh, their space hulks that bring different kind of things to the planet. Um. <laughs> yeah, I. I had. I'm full of of X pirates. Uh forever in fact i think i actually unlisted those videos because i just disliked them so much um it's one of the most uncomfortable fucking playthroughs i've had in any XCOM thing it wasn't the nudity don't get it twisted <laughs> nothing to do with that well a little bit because it was a bit excessive <laughs> um <clears throat> for stream purposes uh, it was more of the ridiculous fucking edgelord humor that is allowed to just prance around in it. I just have no interest. I like the try a melee system variant of, of that someday. Oh. Well, Rika. It's everything, I suppose that's fair. We tried, Rika. Another 200 fates down. Not a whole lot happening today, unfortunately, but that's okay. It was still a great day. Thank you, Rika, and thank you, Polly, for making this possible. polly Uh If you would like to download it yourself, here's the link up top, SocksMakePeopleSexy.itch.io. It is free to download, along with every other game there. It is free to download. Have some fun. Lots of fun quick games there. Alrighty. YouTubers, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that so much. Please like and subscribe, I'd also appreciate that. Positive vibes, y'all, and have a good night.